This is about the American Dipper, also known as the Water Oozel in Europe and in England. It's a slate gray color, uh, sometimes with a slightly brown head, brownish head. It has white feathers on the eyelids, which makes the eyes look white as it blinks. It feeds in fast moving shallow streams, like Simon River here, perfect habitat for the uh, dipper. Its range is Central America and Western North America to Alaska. This bird also has an eyelid called a nictitating membrane, which lets it see underwater. Also, it has scales that close its nose when submerged. Here he is feeding in the river. Uh, I believe they know every rock and little perch that they can go to. Uh, he seems to be, uh, after a bit, I could sort of predict where he was going to go. And it's amazing how they can snap little larvae and little insects and things out of the uh, little nymphs out of the river. And the faster flowing water, which you will see in the bed. They have a, a nest, uh, a large nest of moss with a side entrance. They lay three to six egg, eggs. And it's usually built under roots, uh, a rocky ledge, or on a mud bank. Sometimes it can even, even be, uh, they'll have a nest under a bridge. It feeds on aquatic insects, larvae of the dragonfly nymphs, and they take tiny fish as well. They have uh, the type of feet that uh, they can uh, hang on to those slippery rocks. There he goes, uh, flying off. They can swim underwater, they kind of put their wings out a tiny bit, and they can do their short little uh, bursts under the water. Here he's heading for some faster uh, uh, bit of the river here, um, which they can cope with very well. The dipper uh, produces a lot more oil than a normal, so-called normal bird. They uh, produce about eight times more oil to, uh, so that they can uh, keep waterproof and probably to keep warmer. If you notice, when the water flows over their body, it just flows off like it is oily, obviously oily, and it just uh, uh, it does not go in anywhere, you know, they don't get wet. And uh, because it spends a lot of its time uh, either half submerged in the water or partially submerged and or underwater. So uh, they are very amazing uh, little birds. Uh, it has been known that a salmon or a trout could actually uh, take one of these uh, little birds in the, when they're in the river as a, as a food. And uh, so they have uh, predators as well. Here is some, some fast moving water and he's still able to pick up little nymphs or, or little insects that are or larvae that are coming down the river. This is quite amazing here. You can perch on those rocks, so that water is moving fairly fast there. So uh, he's able to grasp uh, slippery surfaces. They always do this uh, bobbing. Uh, I have no idea why they do that, but in between feeding there's always a, a bob or two or whatever until they decide to go after something. This is on the Slyamon River, a typical river for the uh, dipper. 
anywhere where there's uh, moving water shallower than uh, most places that's where they'll be there he goes dove under comes up about 10 feet along and uh, back up to this rock he knows where every rock is i'm sure in this this area that he's feeding Here's one of the still shots that I got in the river and another one here. They're a fairly big bird. They're almost the size of a robin, maybe a bit less. Hope you enjoyed watching this film. Thanks for watching.